What's up everyone? Welcome to RC Lobotics. As always, my name is Carl. Uh, I am your host. And today, I have finally uh, realised a childhood dream. Now, if you remember one of these, uh, these were big in the 90s. They're um, air hogs, compressed air chuck gliders. And essentially, they came like this in the box. It was a wing, a fuselage and a tail. And you pump it up with this tiny little pump. Pump it up with that. And this tank can probably go up to probably about 60, 65, 70 psi, and you'll get a good maybe 40 to 50 seconds worth of, of flight time out of that. And this thing used to, you know, climb to maybe 250 feet, maybe 200 feet, and then it'd run out of power and it'd glide back down. If you got the um, the little tabs just right on the on the elevator and rudder, you could literally get it to to spiral up and then spiral back down again. It's a great deal of fun. And I always remember thinking when I was younger, I think. Wouldn't it be great if there was radio control gear that was small enough and light enough um, to fit on this aircraft? And here we are in 2018 with just that technology. Um, so yeah, this is something that I had an idea back in last year, in 2017, in November. I posted on uh, Facebook on FPV site and the BMFA site and basically asked anyone, does anybody have one of these? Because I would... I would like to pay you for it, and I will uh, pay you a ridiculous amount of price for it. Nobody replied. Now, this seems to be because these are very, very rare. Um, I also went over to Florida just after I asked, uh, asked about it, and I met up with a couple, someone called Destin in Flight Fest. He thought I wanted something else that was Air Hogs related. Um, he said, oh, I've, I've got one. I was like, brilliant, I found one. Uh, I got to, all the way to Flight Fest, went to go and meet Destin, and unfortunately, it was a radio-controlled, uh, one of the tiny, you know, motor differential steering air hogs one. I said, oh, that, that's that's fantastic, that me, but it's not what I was after. What I was after was the air-compressed version. I finally found one on eBay. Uh, it was a collector's edition. It wasn't, wasn't too expensive. It was uh, £45, but it was brand new in the box, unopened, never touched before, two brand new wings, two brand new tails, and a brand new fuselage. And I... I know it was a collector's item, but here on RC Lobotics we don't keep things in the boxes, we uh, we take them out as soon as possible. So I took it out and I went for a little fly, like I was a child, back before we put any RC gear on it. It was like, yeah, it's pretty good, cool, but you know, I ran out of uh, run out of fun after about two or three minutes. I thought, this thing needs, needs RC gear on it. So we used our micro receiver and micro uh, servos from a Sukhoi 29, you know, one of the little... Uh, Editors, can you could you put a little Sukhoi 29 up here on the screen? Thank you very much. That's the, that's the aircraft that we have. Uh, the receiver out of that, and the battery out of that, and the servos. And then basically I've just made up these little carbon fibre rods with some little linkages on them, all the way to an elevator and a rudder to give us um, pitch and steering control. And then you essentially you just fill it up with air, take it down the field, plug a battery in, and you're ready to go. And literally, I reckon you could probably have Maybe two or three hours of fun with this. I haven't tested how long the battery will last, but I've got a 110 milliamp hour park zone battery on the front of this thing. I think that thing will run just if it's just running servos. That thing will easily, easily run for maybe two or three hours. Um, so essentially, I could be at the field for nearly two or three hours, just keep flying this and also losing weight. Because if you see in this video, it takes quite a lot of energy uh, to pump this thing up. So you know you're always losing weight. So. There's enough jibber jabber now, let's take it down to the field and let's go for a fly. It's really hard to keep up. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's done a cartwheel. Yes, not locking over now. Okay, <laughs> we've sorted the problem. The problem was these are old servos. This receiver has been crashed many, many times, smacked into walls uh, indoor flying. So the servos aren't that great anymore. They're, every now and then it'll just the the right servo, which is our rudder servo. If you go full right over, it, it's the servo's going full right to the, it's full right position and just lock in there so that when I'm moving the stick back to the 
the middle position, the servo isn't following my thumb and the, uh, the rudder's just stuck over to the right. So that's why we're getting that wing over. I have now limited the right hand side of rudder. So we're down, we're literally down to 38% and we're getting plenty enough movement left and right. I'm gonna fill it up with some more air. And it should work this time. Free fuel. Free fuel? I know, yeah. Tesla. <laughs> Tesla, if you uh, you want to get in contact with me, no problem. I'll have a I'll have a brew and a chat with your pal. Everyone hates on Tesla. I don't know why. I think it's because they're jealous because they didn't put a car a car in space. Yeah, totally. I think it's because they're jealous because everyone told him that he was wasn't going to make it and he made it. Yep. I think it's because maybe he got a bailout. He got a bailout and paid it back with interest. Interest, that's profit, profit to the state. What's your problem? It wasn't just a couple of hundred pounds worth of interest either. <laughs> it's like- 20 million <laughs> apparently in interest. He's a good Going guy. I'm on a tangent now, aren't I? Oh, no. I'm off a rant. Fingers crossed. Oh my God. Oh! So, we've got a problem because our CAG is spot on, to my knowledge, just behind the leading edge. Hmm, we may be tail heavy, you know. I don't remember it being this unstable when I was a kid. Without the, we are, without the RC gear, it flew just fine. So I think we are still tail heavy and that's why we're getting this wing over. Miss that sound. That sound just bring, brings me back to the 90s. <laughs> Nine year old Carl flew from great. this field. What the vibration of that. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not surprised there's a lot of vibration on it. It's, uh... <laughs> it's sounds like a long fart. I love that kickback noise. <laughs> you hear it fart then? <laughs> Farting, listen. It's <laughs> in a right goff. Is <laughs> it because she's squeezing it? No, the piston's turning over and letting the last Krennigs of air out. Ah. Look at the water droplets inside. So there you go, guys. We've got it to fly a little bit. The CG is a little bit off. Um, I will uh, perfect the, the CAG and make the, a little bit more movement to the elevator so we can get a little bit more control and then we'll take it down to the actual flying, the club flying field where we've got a bit more space and we can possibly... Uh, I'm going to set myself a goal. My goal is to loop this thing by the end of the year. So that means I need to get it up to altitude, point the nose down and pull the nose up so that I can get it to do a full loop before the, the, air, the air inside the gas chamber runs out. So I've been... Carl Benyon for RC Robotics. If you uh, if you like my content, then please click the subscribe button up here. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so next time that I upload a new video, you're notified straight away and you don't miss a thing. I've been Carl Benyon for RC Robotics. Thank you and bye. Very much for joining us here at RC Robotics again. If you like, go and check out there's some more videos on my channel. There's this special one of a, a very special scale Cobra attack helicopter. That was a very, very fun day. Um, there's also another air compressed video on my channel if you go and have a look at that. Also, we've got on this channel is a, another micro banner that I made for my micro sport club. That was really fun. fun. And we've also got plenty of FPV videos that you can go and check out. So there are loads. Um, also, there's this uh, micro Spitfire, 3D printed Spitfire that I crashed. So if you want to go see that smash into a thousand pieces, go on over to the channel and uh, check out the video. Once again, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.